My name is Praful. I work as a senior manager at HR Analytics with Genpact. I have more than eight years of workex now. I started off as a programmer, then decided to take a break for education after five and a half years. Did my MBA, and since then have been working uh, with Genpact only. And I'll, I'll uh, talk about my journey in due course of time. One thing I wanted to call out was I could sense uh, a little anxiety in most of you because the questions that were directed to these speakers also talked about how you are feeling a bit restless about going through the courses but not being able to convert uh, uh, in, uh, you know, the same into job offers or role changes internally. I hope what I talk uh, will give you at, at least some comfort because I was on the other side of the boundary about two years ago. Uh, before I took a course from Jigsaw. Uh, for the uninitiated, I took a basics in foundation analytics course way back in 2013. I feel like a veteran with Jigsaw now. Uh, after that, I banged my head against walls because I couldn't, uh, you know, first of all, get an interview call from the organizations because I had a disadvantage with me. The disadvantage being before my MBA, I had a substantial work ex of close to six years. To get into, to, to switch sectors at a very uh, nascent stage in your career, in very formative years in your careers, is very, very easy because you don't carry a baggage. Baggage in terms of your domain expertise, baggage in terms of a, of a CTC expectation, etc., etc. For me, it was doubly difficult. Getting to an interview stage was a nirvana state for me. I applied to about 30, 40, 50 organizations, got call from nobody. My luck started to change slightly. I started to get interview calls from some organizations. Again, I used to hit that air pocket where in organizations used to ask me, what are the big business problems that you've solved using analytics? Have you built models? Uh, do you know logistic regression? I used to say yes. Okay, give me a practical example. I used to say, nahi wo padha hai, matlab, kar lunga, types. It didn't help. So while my quest for a job change is still on, in the meantime, something very interesting happened. And that interesting thing was, I started to like whatever I was doing in my current organization. After completing my course in, with, with, with Jigsaw, I was equipped with sufficient tools and techniques to look at the organization problems in a different way. It's like if you don't know how to drive a car, you still, uh, you know, do a two and fourth, you know, back and forth from your ha home to your office, right? We all do, even if we do not know how to drive. But the moment you know how to drive a car, life becomes a little bit easier for you, isn't it? Even if you don't change the organization, even if you don't change the route, even if you don't change anything about it, you just know how to drive, you pick up your car and start doing a to and fro by yourself every day, you'll suddenly feel the difference in your life because your dependency on a lot of other people goes away. I did the same. What I do in Genpact, I do something called as people analytics or HR analytics. Now, HR and analytics are two chalk and cheese items. I mean, they don't go together most of the time. It's a very, very nascent field, I would say, which is coming up, but not quite there. With all due respect to the HR folks, HR traditionally has been a function which is not very, very number centric. I mean, HR folks are not inclined to playing with numbers, crunching data, looking for insights, etc., etc. All they, all they know or all they have been doing throughout their life is publishing a dashboard. Ye red hai, ye yellow hai, green hai, That's it. So. Now that you are equipped with tools and techniques to analyze data, to crunch the numbers, etc., etc., I thought, can we do the same things differently? I'm not an HR person, by the way. What I do is I'm a Lean Six Sigma consultant. For some of you who do not know what a Lean Six Sigma consultant does, his job is to go to any process, streamline it, either uh, bring the overall cycle time reduction in the entire process or reduce the defects. That's what a Lean Six Sigma consultant does primarily. 
while that still remains a core part of my job, could we do something? Could we, could could I apply what I learned in my current job and see whether I'm actually making a difference or not? Because before proving to the outer world that I am someone who can solve business problems for you using analytics, I had to prove it to myself first. Because credibility always, to me, uh, is built inside out. You need to be sure of yourself, then only you'll be able to convince others, right? So what we did was, and coincidentally what happened in 2013, the CHRO of the organization came to our team saying uh, the attrition for the organization is going you know, over the roof. I want the team to come up with some data analytics which will give me real insight on the floor. Now, Genpact as an organization is very mature in terms of processes, in terms of uh, HR people practices. We already have a very mature system wherein attrition and all the HR related metrics are very duly tracked. So we have no problems gathering, collating data. So that, that, that's not an issue. The issue was everybody was you know, showing the numbers or reporting the numbers to the senior leaders in a very sedate way, which people had beaten to death. People had been used to seeing this for donkey years now. The senior leadership wanted something uh, insightful, something refreshing that they hadn't basically seen for a while. So what we did basically was, as I said, we, we have a very comprehensive database management system, but the systems are disparate basically. We combined everything, combined everything related to all the employees in a single database, all the traditional cuts, non-traditional cuts, cuts like whether someone avails a transportation facility or not, has someone taken a soft loan from the organization or not, uh, whether someone is, is, is single or married, how many children does he have, does he avail of insurance benefits, etc., etc. There were about 70 odd columns that we mapped to a single uh, you know, employee. And, uh, and we had this data for about 18 months for active employees as well as for the employees who had left us. What we did basically was we tried to come up using statistics and we used uh, regression, we used CHAID, uh, we used logistic regression somewhere to come up with statistically significant factors which will actually impacting the attrition. That's one part. The second part was Basis the analysis that we did actually, it set the imperatives or the goal sheet of the HR managers for the next years. Those metrics that we identified are still alive in the organization, are still tracked and uh, we did a pilot for a specific group of businesses because Genpact is a huge mammoth. I mean 67,000 employees, you can't deploy something organization wide in a, in, a, in a single go. You have to go, you know, pocket by pocket. For the pockets on which we ran the set of recommendations that we had proposed, we saw a 3% dip in attrition in next 12 months. The reason why I picked this example from my journey is uh, because the, the, most of the questions I was listening to, uh, most of us, like me, are bothered about how to change or shift into analytics world which may not be the best of the approach all the time. Because A, it means we are running away from something which we have been doing for ages now. Again, not, a, not, not such a good idea. And B, there is already some sort of a business problem which is in front of you. Why run away from that and get into some other industry, start from zero? If you are already somewhere, why not look at the same problems in a different way and show your true worth? I mean, if you get into analytics industry, there will be 50, 100, 200 people like you churning out insights from numbers. You will be one of them. But imagine you being where you are, but doing things differently, bringing about real impact to the businesses. Imagine the level of credibility that you would actually bring about. So this is one of the options that most of us can actually, uh, you know, you know, uh, try out. In the end, I, I, I would just uh, want to conclude by saying that uh, it's been more than two years since I completed my course with Jigsaw, but my association till date has not ended. So that speaks volumes about the institute itself. 
every month or probably every fourth night, uh, I talk to either Rupa or someone from the admin team related to some stuff or other. I don't know how many training institutes we'll have in India today who will have such a strong alumni connect with someone who has passed out of the institute two, two and a half years back. So thank you so much. Thanks a lot.